ET Action 7 News. Two Japanese are grateful to be alive after a shootout with a suspected drug deal. Now, we're learning today the suspect claims he had no clue who he was shooting at cops. It's new on 7. Court records show that this man thought someone was breaking into his home when he started firing shots Wednesday afternoon. I don't think that's reasonable based on his criminal history. I think that's an alibi, in my opinion. But they weren't thieves at the other end of Kenneth Soundergaard's door. Instead, it was Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputies trying to execute a search warrant and take him into custody. Two deputies sustained injuries when shrapnel hit them in the arm. They have since been released from the hospital. Sheriff Manuel Gonzalez says his deputies are going to be okay. What was most inspiring for me is that the fact that they said they wanted to come back to work right away. Court records show that sheriff's investigators believe that Soundergaard was selling meth out of this home near Montano and Coors. As deputies approached his home, they shouted they were conducting a search warrant prior to breaking down a metal gate. Then shots started firing. Deputies were able to return fire. None of the shots hit Soundergaard. When my deputies are running from the scene, uh, scrambling around, uh, for their lives. I think that's how dangerous it was. After the shooting, sheriff's deputies found four rifles, including an AK-47 and Thompson submachine gun inside Soundergaard's home. They also seized 34 marijuana plants, eight ammunition cases, meth and heroin. Shelly Leggett, KOAT Action 7 News. Court records show Soundergaard is a convicted felon. It is illegal for him to possess a firearm.